Land boundaries between River State and Imo State have been barricaded with steel bars by the River State government as part of measures to contain the spread of COVID-19 by checking the exodus of people into the state. Monitoring and enforcement of the federal government's directive on interstate lockdown has also intensified on rivers and Imo State borders by officials of the River State government and security agencies. Our correspondent who visited the boundaries between both states said stiff monitoring is ongoing as enforcement and monitoring is on top gear with health officials stationed at the boundaries to check the status of persons conveying essential goods into the state. The governor is a proactive governor. If you see the standard of job he has done here, you can see that he didn't only create barricades, he created, he created a medical desk for people coming in and leaving this state to know their status. Because part of the advice we've gotten from World Organization and NCDC is that when, even if you're asthmatic, you will see a rise in temperature or body temperature. And because we do not have testing kits, enough testing kits to be deployed in this center, or we don't have enough quarantine centers to manage the disease, these are the measures we are taking. So the governor is proactive. When we are here, that we had no this, we didn't have the facility. We are just working on layman's idea. But today we can say we are taking steps to push some measure of accuracy. In what we are doing. Really affect us most more because we do go and carry plantain. And if, from Blyasa to Imo State. But if on our way going, we find it so much difficult on going. But coming down with plantain, we will always go freely like that because they always allow us as far as we are carrying food. But going is not easy because they don't believe that we are going for those things because nobody's to believe. But to tell you the fact, it's not easy. We always sometimes, a journey of uh, five hours took us.